so much for joining me. I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead. I'm a co-founder and chief clinical officer of The Healing Place, The Estates, a triple diagnosis chronic pain program in Camarillo, California. This morning I had an opportunity to present in front of a number of treatment providers and when I got to this particular slide that talked about the solution is healing the whole person, they were very intrigued. They had never heard it put quite like this. So at a healing place, we believe in the four quadrants of improved levels of functioning. Biological, psychological, social, and spiritual. And we see the spiritual is the glue that holds the whole thing together. So I wanted to just expound on that just a little bit because they were asking some great questions. What is spirituality? How do you present that to your patients? Well, there's a big difference between religion and spirituality and that's where we start. And my clinical director of specialty programs, Dale Ryder and I have developed a really great piece both for our patients and for the families on healing the whole person, healing the whole family. And we go in and talk about spirituality in a completely different way. Some of the things we use is the works of Don Miguel Ruiz, The Four Agreements. We also talk about all the different world's religions and how they have some very common tenets and similarities, many more similarities than differences. And we talk about the spiritual. And I like to share with people, I always ask my patients to come back and tell me what they see as the difference. I had one woman I was working with several years ago and she couldn't come up with it during the session. I said, that's not a problem. Go think about it and then come back and share it with me. And she did. And I think she nailed it pretty clear. It really made a lot of sense. She said, well, Steve, for me, religion is a group of people getting together with rules and structure and dogma that are preparing for the next life. Okay, what's spirituality? So for me, spirituality is me getting together with a number of other spiritually orientated people to get the best out of this life. And that really resonated. But it's gonna be different for each individual. But we need to have people working in all four areas. Just working on the spiritual alone is not enough. And we know because of the opioid epidemic and the chronic pain crisis that working on the biological or biomedical approach is not enough either. We need to also have people shift in to start looking at their defense mechanisms, their self-defeating thinking, their bad decision making, the way they manage emotions, uh, uncomfortable emotions especially, in dangerous ways. One extreme dangerous way is to stuff it down and pretend they don't exist and the other is to get flooded and act out with them. So we want to do a lot of emotional regulation training in our program and teach people how to let go of their inner saboteur or self-defeating thinking patterns. And then in the social area, this is a big one because many of the patients we get at a healing place have become very socially isolated from family, friends, and community. They've been living in a cave. They've been living in the bottom of a chronic pain pit or a chronic pain trance. Their family members oftentimes have become burned out. Sometimes families blow up and disintegrate as a result of a chronic pain condition. And this is for people that don't even have medication management issues. This is just for living with debilitating chronic pain 24-7. So we want to help people heal the whole person and the whole family system here at A Healing Place. If you want to learn more, there's some links below this to some interesting resources for you, and I'd encourage you to check it out. If you want to learn about our program, if you or someone you love is suffering with chronic pain, you can go to the link that talks about Steve Serafino, our admission coordinator, and our contact page. We really want to support you or your loved ones so they don't have to suffer anymore. I often promise people, if you're willing to do the work, you never have to suffer again. doesn't mean you're not going to be in pain, but there's definitely a difference between pain and suffering. So again, thank you for joining me, and please check out the resources below this video.